you kind of just whack it on blends itself what's up friends welcome back to my channel my name is sophia and this is sophia sees beauty my channel where we talk about all things beauty and makeup today i'm super excited i'm going to be giving you guys a full review and all of my thoughts on the shantakai radiance gel bronzer if this is a product that maybe you guys have been interested in and you're thinking about whether or not it is worth the high price tag then keep watching because i have all of the details for you guys before we get started if you are new here welcome as i mentioned my name is sophia i'm a luxury beauty YouTuber and Instagrammer. I upload content every single week on all of the new luxury beauty releases. And in this case, also some cult favorites from brands such as Shantakai. If that is something that you normally enjoy watching, then maybe consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a part of my community. And also I will leave my Instagram handle up here and down below so you guys can follow me and interact with me on Instagram. And before we get started, I will mention that anything that is on my face or any product that I mention in this video, including the comparison product, products will be linked in the description box down below. So if you guys are interested, you can find everything in the description box. And full disclosure, some of my links will be affiliate links. All this means is that if you purchase something using my links, it means that I get a very small commission that doesn't come from you, costs you nothing extra. So in fact, it's a really great way to support my channel. If you guys decide that you wanna purchase this product after this review or anything else that I mentioned in this video, definitely consider shopping through my links because I invest all of the money that I make from there into making more amazing content for you guys. All right, let's get started with the product details. Give this video a thumbs up and keep watching. Alrighty guys, let's talk a little bit about this gel bronzer from Shantakai. Now this bronzer costs $44. I know. Hey guys, this is a luxury beauty channel. So we talk about luxury items and I have seen this bronzer being used many times by other influencers. And when Shantakai had kind of like a BOGO complexion sale, I said to myself, I got to try that bronzer. I need to see for myself if it's really that good. I know the products from Shantakai are very, very expensive. And so for me, I really wanted to put this to the test and see if it was worth the $44. Now, if you guys are not familiar with Shantakai. This is a kind of like a clean beauty brand. They use a lot of natural botanicals and clean ingredients in their products. They're also really involved in a lot of philanthropy and conservation projects. I will link their about page down below so you can read a little bit more about their company, sort of their mission, the family that started it, etc. because it really is a really cool company. Now, what about this bronzer? As I mentioned, it's $44 and it only comes in this one shade. It doesn't have a shade name on here, but it does say that you get 20 milliliters and it says a sheer fluid gel bronzer that delivers a light reflecting radiance and sculpting effect. And I will post for you guys some close-ups of this particular packaging and the formula and shade as well. I'm just going to read a little bit from the Shantakai website about this product. It says, the weightless and ultra moisturizing formula blends easily, adding a touch of sun to any complexion without the look of makeup. A new polymer provides extraordinary smoothness, natural finish, and luminosity for up to 12 hours. And this product is crafted in Italy. It says it is made with no parabens, no animal testing. It's phthalate free and it's fragrance free, which personally I appreciate. I don't like a lot of fragrance in my skincare. I like fragrance for my perfumes that I spray on my body. So I like things that are fragrance free and I love that it is also cruelty free as well. It also says here that you can wear this over foundation or just on top of your regular skincare. So I'm gonna personally be testing this over the Shantikai Future Skin Foundation. If you guys are interested in that particular product, I also have a full review of that product up here on my channel. I am wearing it today. So if you're a little bit interested in more of Shantikai's products, definitely check out that video. I'm going to be pairing that with this bronzer today in the demo. So I think those are probably all the details that I need to share with you guys for now. I was super interested in this bronzer because it's a gel formula. I was kind of choosing between trying out the powder bronzer from Shantikai and the gel bronzer from Shantikai and I ultimately decided on this one because the fact of the matter is I actually don't have another gel bronzer in my collection. This seems like it was going to be something super unique so I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more about how this applies, how I like to apply it, how it wears and just the particular sort of finish of this formulation. So if you guys are interested in that keep watching because we're going to get into a demo right now.
Okay, party people, let's test out this Shantakai Radiance Gel Bronzer. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. I have been wearing this kind of nonstop over maybe the past couple of weeks since I got it. So just kind of showing you the packaging right from the start. You are getting 20 milliliters or 0.67 fluid ounces. And it says a sheer fluid gel bronzer that delivers a light reflecting radiance and sculpting effect. So this is what the tube looks like. It's a little squeezy tube. And you guys are gonna find out, you're gonna see that you honestly, this is like a lifetime supply of bronzer in here. This is gonna last you a very long time. But yeah, it comes in a very nice sleek little squeezy tube. And this is how I like to apply this bronzer. So as you can see, it's kind of gotten a little bit of pigment around here, but I like to take it, put it on my hand like this, and just kind of lightly squeeze and tap it around, basically smoothing it out on my hand so that it's gonna create a nice kind of even but thin layer for my brush so that I don't pick up a ton and then I get like a big splotch on my face. Then I'm gonna be taking my synthetic stippling brush. This is from Clinique. I've told you guys about this a couple of times. This is one of my favorite synthetic brushes for applying cream bronzer, cream blush, basically any kind of liquid or cream product because it's a really great kind of duo fiber workhorse brush. So you get a really nice even application, but you're also not gonna damage the brush because it's it's very hearty. So I like to dip into the bronzer like this. Before I put this on, actually, I do want to just kind of call out the shade right here. It has, it's warm, but it also has kind of like a pinky natural undertone to it. When I first watched this, I was like, not quite so sure about it. <laughs> But it is a very interesting, um, it is a very interesting shade and it has a little bit, just a slight hint of shimmer to it. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that in the light. It's not going to look super shimmery on our face, but it does have like a slight luminescence to it, almost like an hourglass ambient lighting bronzer would. So I lightly tap my brush in and then I just go in like that. And you might say, oh wow, that looks super blotchy, but watch. It's going on super, super evenly. And I'm just putting a little bit more here so we can do the other side. You kind of just whack it on and it blends itself. Like it blends itself, guys. Look at that. And underneath, I am just wearing the Shantakai Future Skin Foundation. I am also doing a review of that. It should be up by the time this video goes up. And instantly that gave a very, very healthy flush. It They've done a really interesting job of making this particular bronzer light, but also pigmented. I was kind of afraid that this was either going to be too sticky and not blend, or it was gonna blend away into nothingness. But that is not the case at all. And I think that the tone of this bronzer is very, very ideal for paler skin tones because it allows your natural skin to show through and it's not too yellow and it's not too golden. It really gives you this gorgeous natural flush. Like it's just a very, very interesting texture. See how light and blendable that is? but the color isn't blending away. That's what I wanna emphasize about this. And you get a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of a glow without it being sticky. It's not sticky at all. It's not a matte effect, but it's also not a dewy sticky effect. It just gives you a very nice radiant glow, which I think is very appealing to a lot of people. And that's it guys. As you saw, we used just a very, very tiny amount. It gives us this beautiful golden sheen. I don't think anybody would look at me right now and think like, wow, she's wearing way too much bronzer or she looks like she has a fake tan. I could probably layer a little bit more onto my face and it would be even bronzier or I could go on top with like a powder bronzer if I really wanted to, but I don't feel like I ever need to set this at all. I think that it works super, super good for dry skin. And yeah, it just gives me a beautiful, beautiful glow. So I hope that that demo was helpful for you guys. Now I'm just going to get into a couple of quick comparisons. 
All right, so let's just do a couple of comparisons here. The reality is that I actually don't have anything like this in my collection. Even if I had something that was a liquid texture, I don't think I have anything that is like this perfect gel-like texture that just blends so easily while depositing pigment and not disturbing my foundation at all. But I have a couple of things that I wanna show you that you might be thinking of just to kind of give you even further an idea of what this is like. The first thing that I have right here is the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is a very popular product and I really enjoy this for a very nice soft contour. To me, this is probably the one thing that is as similar to the gel bronzer from Shantikai, only because it is just so nice and blendable in the same way. As you can see, I have the Shantikai bronzer underneath. The Charlotte Tilbury one, it does kind of just blend itself, but you can see here, this is a lot warmer and this is a lot cooler. Like the contour one is for contouring. Like at least for me, I put that in the hollows of my cheeks. I do not use that to bronze my face personally. So that's the biggest difference here. Like the contour one, it's definitely there to create a little bit more depth and shadow and kind of chisel your face in a very soft way. Whereas this gel bronzer, it definitely has more of a sheen and it's adding warmth. But I would say if you really like the formula of the Charlotte Tilbury, you're probably really going to like this. This is just a little bit more juicy and gel-like. I would say that's the biggest difference in the formula. The next product that I wanna show you guys are the Drunk Elephant De Bronzy Drops, or are these called Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. This is like, one of the only products in my collection that is kind of like a liquid bronzer. So I wanted to show this as well. This is something that I usually would put underneath my foundation or almost like mix into my foundation to give it a little bit more of like a bronzy look. I honestly don't use these all that much, but I just wanted to show you for comparisons purposes. This is much more shimmery and the tone is definitely different. Okay, so this is the Drunk Elephant D Bronzy and this is the Chantecaille. So the tone is very different. Personally, I think the Chantecaille is a much more natural color, at least for me being super pale. These are much more shimmery. This is much more liquidy. And yeah, the Chantecaille just has a nicer, slicker, like this feels almost like a skincare serum, whereas this feels like, liquid bronzing drops. I also just don't think that these go on as pigmented. Like it kind of blends out, whereas the Chantecaille bronzer, as I mentioned, it has a really light blendable formula, but it just does a good job of like depositing the pigment once it goes on your face. Whereas this is, it's more for like mixing and priming. I wouldn't use this as a bronzer. Next up, I have the Tower 28 Bronzino bronzer. I feel like this is a very polarizing product because a lot of people like the blushes, but in terms of the bronzer, maybe it's just because you're putting more of it on your face. This is a pretty emollient formula, but one of the reasons why I wanted to show it is just because it does have a bit of that sheen. You can tell that I've been like putting my brush in there, but I wanted to show the difference. Like this, it's a very, very shimmery bronzer. Whereas this is a little bit more subtle, as you can see, see how more metallic that is. And this is a little bit more blendable. Whereas this is definitely, it's definitely stickier. It definitely has a much more emollient feel. I like these products from Tower 28, but I know that a lot of people feel like they just don't set down enough. So if you are a little bit worried about your cream products setting down, I don't think I would go with these. And I, I really just wanted to kind of show you the difference between them because I think that people who want maybe like that glowier look might gravitate towards something like this. But again, this is gonna be like a little bit stickier. Also with this, you're a little bit more at risk of kind of lifting the foundation that's underneath your skin. So I wanna point that out as well. And lastly, while this is not a cream or liquid bronzer, I wanna show you guys the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer, at least an example of one of the ones from my collection because what I find is that this kind of reminds me of the liquid version of the ambient lighting bronzers because it's very light, it's very natural, it's very luminous, only this is gonna be kind of like 
that juicy dewy formula and this is going to be more of well it's obviously a powder formula here i have the ambient lighting palette that came out for holiday 2021 this one is called universe and this is the lighter palette of the two and so this right here is the bronzer and i just want to show you guys kind of the effect that this gives see how that is very luminous and blendable i almost feel like that is the powder version of this i know just kind of seeing it on the hand doesn't maybe it doesn't make as much sense and obviously the tone is a little bit different but i'm just saying if you're a fan of the hourglass bronzers and you really like their powder products and maybe you want to try something that gives a little bit more of like a dewy healthy natural look maybe check out this gel bronzer from chantikai all right, folks, now that we have a couple of those comparisons out of the way, let me sum up everything in my final thoughts. And we're back. Now it's time for me to share my final thoughts about this $44 Shantakai gel bronzer. What do I think of this? If you couldn't tell from the demo, I actually love this bronzer. Guys, this might be one of my new favorite bronzers. And it's so funny because I feel like I was a little bit unfair to Shantakai for a while because I bought a couple of their products that were more of like blushes, single eyeshadows. And while they were fine, like they weren't mind blowing for the price. And now I've been trying out more of their complexion products and I'm actually super duper impressed. Guys, I have been wearing this nonstop. I have been using here and there some of my powder bronzers, especially because I have some new powder brushes that I've been enjoying using. But other than that, I pretty much have been exclusively wearing this bronzer ever since I got it. I was very, very excited to try it. And so I just want to walk through some of the claims that they make on the Shantakai site and kind of go through and evaluate each one to really give a full review of this product. Okay, let's revisit the product description. It said that this product is weightless. It's it's ultra moisturizing, it blends easily, it adds a touch of sun, it says that it adds smoothness, natural finish, and luminosity for up to 12 hours. Now, personally, I have to say that yes, it meets all of those claims. First off, I think that it is very, very moisturizing. It seems like Shantakai, they really infuse a lot of skincare into their products. If you guys saw my Shantakai Future Skin Foundation review, you will have heard me describe that foundation as almost like a hug for your skin. It's like giving you this beautiful glass skin effect. And I feel like they did something kind of similar with this particular bronzer where it has a really unique gel form formula that goes on very light. It gives you a nice sheen to your skin without being sticky and it's very weightless, but it's also depositing pigment. Usually when you have something that's very light, you don't really get that much coverage, but Shantakai has seemed to have nailed that, honestly. They seem to really, really do that very, very well with their particular complexion products. So I have to say this is extremely weightless. It really gives a nice natural touch of sun without making me look like I just brushed a bunch of fake tan onto my face or it doesn't look splotchy, it's not uneven. It honestly blends itself, kind of like that Charlotte Tilbury contouring wand, but more of a bronzer effect. I also think that this works really, really well, particularly over other kind of like dewy and creamier foundations. I think that this can be worn without foundation. It can be worn over any foundation. Honestly, I've tested this out with the Cali Ray Skin Tint, which I have a video of, and a couple of other foundations, and it looks great on top of everything. That being said, I think it looks especially good on top of the Shantakai Future Skin Foundation. I know, guys, I'm not trying to like make your wallet sad here, but I love both of these products products together because I feel like it gives you a very seamless dewy effect. So if you really like kind of that hydrated natural like I just kind of wake up with hydrated skin look I think that you should try that foundation with this particular bronzer and it's going to give you a really beautiful radiant natural effect. Now I also want to talk about the longevity of this because it does say in the description that this will last for 12 hours and honestly I do feel like it has really 
really good longevity for something that is so light for it to actually like stick so well for your face that's actually pretty impressive so i do want to say i feel like this lasted very well as well and it also applies really really well on top of your foundation without kind of disturbing what is underneath Next up in terms of the price, whether or not I think it is worth it, I actually do think that this is worth it and I don't think that it is that bad of a value. Even though $44 is a lot for a bronzer, you guys saw in the demo, like I barely used any of this. Like if I used this every single day, it's probably going to take me a year to get through this because it is very pigmented. It's lightweight. I really just have to dab only a little bit in order to cover my entire face. So I have to say, just like a lot of other kind of cream blush products and cream bronzer products, I feel like this is going to last me a very, very long time. So the price point because of that, it doesn't bother me quite as much. Now, I think that the main downside, like the main con of this particular product is just the fact that it only comes in one shade. It only comes in one shade. So it's like, we can't all enjoy it. Like that's what kind of pisses me off about this particular product. Like, come on, Shantakai, make some more shades. <laughs> I just think that this particular shade you know, I think for me, again, guys, I'm very pale. So of course it's going to work for me. But if you are more on like the tan to deep, I don't know if this is going to work for you. Please comment down below and let us know where do you sort of fall along the shade range spectrum and let us know if this works for you. Because this works for me. I think if you are very fair to fair to light to even medium, I think this will be just fine for you. But if you are more like medium to tan to deep. I just don't see this working for you, but please comment down below because there's no way for me to test on just myself if it's going to work for everyone. I would love to see Shantakai come out with this bronzer in a couple of different shades, maybe at least four or five, and being able to kind of target different undertones because I think the undertone of this is very, very special and works really well on fair skin but I think if you're looking for something that's much more peachy but I think if you're looking for something that is like maybe a little bit more neutral or something that is very very golden or something that kind of enhances maybe like the red undertones and a deeper skin tone I'm not totally sure that this is going to work for you so in summary guys I think that this is actually very good value because you don't need a lot of product I think that the formula is fantastic. I think the longevity is there. The blendability is there. I think that this is definitely luxury. My only con, honestly, is that it doesn't come in more shades. So comment down below. Let me know, have you tried this product? Does it work for you? What are your thoughts on it? Personally, I love it. This is like one of my new favorite bronzers in my collection. I don't have anything like this in my collection, but let us know, are there some other maybe more affordable dupes of this that you guys have tried? Do you want me to compare this against another product out there? I'd be happy to do that. I love doing comparison videos. Comment down below and let me know. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I love reviewing luxury beauty for you guys. And also follow me on Instagram. I will put my handle right up here and in the description box down below. I interact with a lot of you guys on a daily basis. We have a lot of fun over there. I usually show you guys what I'm buying. I do little unboxings for you in my kitchen. I swatch things for you before they're up on YouTube. So if you guys want sneak peeks of all of the new products that are coming out on the market and you just wanna see what I'm spending my hard earned money on, then definitely follow me on Instagram. Finally, guys, please, please, please give your girl a thumbs up for this video. I love making videos for you guys and giving me a thumbs up is a really simple, easy, and free way to support my channel. Another great way to support my channel is shopping through my affiliate links. So if this is a product that you guys are interested in, or maybe some of the other alternatives that I showed you in the comparison section of this video, definitely consider shopping through my links. That would be a very great way to support me and the videos that I create here on my channel. Anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was helpful. Definitely comment down below and let me know what you think and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.